our channel so today's video is going to be our final day in Disneyland we thought we didn't film that much we didn't really film much on like rides or anything so if you watched the last video you'll probably come into this thinking they're not gonna have a lot but it's almost like 20 minutes worth of footage we did the world of color we got to show my sister that for the first time and then at the end of the video I just do a Trader Joe's haul so we don't have Trader Joe's in Hawaii so I just showed the things that we picked up for this specific trip and of course since then there's things that I've seen like floating around the internet that I wish that I got. Trader Joe's you need to come to Hawaii already just saying. Okay I'm gonna stop rambling now about what you're going to see and just let you see it. So we're gonna start with a little um, slideshow of photos and then I hope you enjoy the rest. Okay, so I promised you a what's in my bag little segment for one of our videos that was probably too short. So just wanted to show you what we brought in my bag um, for our time in Disneyland. Okay, so first I just wanted to discuss the bag. So this is like a crossbody bag. It's one of the ones with the longer strap. Uh, we used to bring a fanny pack, but this time we decided we would go with this bad boy. And what I like about this one, it's got a big inner pocket in the middle. And it's got two smaller, what is this called? Like, no, not as deep, I guess. Like, they don't go all the way down to the end of the purse. They're shorter, I guess. I don't know. Shallower? Shallower? Sure. I got this in Disneyland a few years ago. It kind of reminds me of, like, the Dooney and Burke style. But I think this was, like, I don't know, 29 bucks or something. And I love it. It's good like Disneyland and Walt Disney World kind of represented and then a lot of cool characters. So anyways, this is the one we go with. You can't fit much in it, so it makes you make good choices with what you bring. So first things first, I first things first on the realist. I always have the room key. John has the park tickets on his phone, but if you're like a paper pass person, you might want to just keep this with your park pass. Two hair elastics because girl problems. One of the restaurants gave me this moist towelette. I know, sorry I said the word moist. So I just kept that in there. This is a Wet Ones packet. And it's Spider-Man, funnily enough. But anyways, this just comes in handy if you have like something kind of sticky on you or something. There's kids everywhere in Disneyland, in case you didn't know. I currently have this obnoxious cough that won't go away, so I have some cough drops in there. We also have this Advil travel container, which is filled with like half Advil, half Excedrin, depending on the ailments going on at that time. <clears throat> in addition to the wet ones, because I'm OCD, I also have this um, anti-back here. We're touching the railings a lot, and railings are gross. Then an extra battery pack, plus a cord. For whatever type of phone you have or if you have two different types of phone brings two cords disneyland does offer these things called fuel rods which um you can actually get you don't, wouldn't need this but it's like 30 dollars. however you can exchange it out as frequently as you want at um, multiple locations throughout the park i did hear that you can order it ahead of time through fuel rod directly for only 20 dollars. and what's nice about it is it's not disney exclusive they have it on a lot of airports and things like that, so when you bring it, you can exchange it right out. Um, tissues, because you never know. John sneezes a lot, you know. Pretty little Pocahontas-like design not on there. Since I've been here. Okay, John. I keep a... This is not sponsored by Lip Sense, and no, I don't sell it. I just happen to like their lip gloss. Nice. So. Uh, I swear I don't. This is just a lip gloss from them that I really like a lot. It's got, like, gold glitter in it, so... If I'm about to get a photo op, you know. Speaking of photo ops, yes, I'm 31 years old. And yes, I have an autograph book. So I didn't fill out any of this crap. But anyways, 
autograph book and a pen, especially if you have kids. That would be great to have. Finished it. Great job. My sister finished her Sudoku puzzle. Yay. Last but not least, it might be a good idea to have some guide maps in there. We have the app on our phone, the Disneyland app, but a few times throughout our stay, it has gone out. So you may want to have like paper maps as like a backup, plus they're kind of a cool souvenir. We decided we were going to get Portuguese, Italian, and French too, so I could see if I can kind of learn a little bit of each of them from comparing it to the English version. So that's cool. It's also Lunar New Year right now. Specifically, this was like some of the events that were going on. So this one wasn't, you know, it tells you like when the Disney characters were out and stuff like that. So that is it. Oh, I forgot one last thing with sunglasses. These fit perfect inside the bag whenever we were going on a ride and we needed to take them off so they didn't fly off like on Space Mountain and stuff. These fit in that bag. So everything that you just saw, I'll put a picture in right her. So everything that you saw in the picture and these two sunglasses fit inside that bag. And then my sister wants me to show you. I got my basic girl. I ain't even mad about it. I put it off. I wasn't going to buy them. And then I just gave waited in. I waited till the last day. My sister got matching silver ones because it matched her outfit. And because John said her hair has silver undertones. So that's that. Well, that'll do it for us. We are done. Did you guys have fun? Too much. Chrissy's still going. We opened the park at, what time did we open? 8 o'clock? 7? Seven. Probably 5 a.m. It's, no. <laughs> it's now 12. It's now 12.30. We're it's all, 12.30? Oh, wow. we're all, all little, turtles. We're all a little delirious, but some more than others. <laughs> mainly, Let's talk about Chrissy real quick. Mainly this one right me. here. We're going to insert a picture of her hiding behind me on okay, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, yes. Okay, we have so first thing this morning, we decided to take Chrissy on Guardians of the Galaxy. We did not tell her anything about the ride. You didn't tell me anything about any rides. You didn't tell me when it was going to be a that's roller how, coaster. That's how it needs to be. You didn't tell me when it was going to be the aerial slow Chrissy, thing. Stop Chrissy, Chrissy, did you have I fun? Only, I learned You're to yelling ask, yelling in I my ear. to take out my ears. Do I have to put them down? That's how I knew it was about to be something. This is going to So then be... I just started messing with her on rides so she didn't need to take her ears off. I was better the second time around on that. One of the rides, I just want to let you guys know, she literally turned to the person. Oh, it was Radiator Springs. Watch out, John. Um, she literally turned to the person. <laughs> he tripped. <laughs> what? He tripped. I tripped, sorry. <laughs> I don't even know what he tripped over because he cleared the other part. But anyways, like Radiate I said, Racers we're tired. or whatever it's called. She whatever. She turned to the lady. We're so not drunk. We had no alcohol. <laughs> None. 
We're high off of magic. Can I finish the story? <laughs> can I finish the story? <laughs> can I finish the story? Okay, all right, all right. So, she's like, now it's so dark. Is there people behind us? Is um, that the story? No! Oh. She turned to the lady and she's like, do I really need to take my ears off? She's like, yep. <laughs> Yeah, like funny. straightest face I've ever seen in my life, and I'm like, see. She's this like, is yeah, gonna, gonna be the most shaky that. video, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, yeah, we don't have our it's fancy like in stuff. The front of the bobsled, which was a mistake. That was also awesome. <laughs> what did you scream out? You said, "I make." I regret all my life decisions that led me to this moment. <laughs> there you go. That'll do it for this Costco trip to Cali. We did and a Holland. lot. Oh, okay, well, thanks. that wasn't your trip. No. But yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize wow. I wasn't here. All right, guys. Hey, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe. Subscribe. Live aloha, guys. Live long and prosper. Wait, no, no. Okay, guys, it is Sunday and we are officially back home. It's going to be a little bonus video. I wanted to give you a little Trader Joe's haul. And we bring this insulated tote bag that I bought from them a few years ago and we fill it up to the max. So this little pile right here. Is stuff that I got from my parents as like a thank you gift in addition to some other stuff. So this I got them French vanilla coffee because they love coffee. They did also have shade grown coffee there but it was dark roast. This one's only medium dark roast and I didn't know if my parents would like dark roast but I definitely want to like explore shade grown coffee because they said that helps the animals in rainforest. So these licorice twists are so freaking good. We get these all the time for us, so I decided I'd get a bag for my parents. This is the entire like world to me. I love this stuff. Everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. This is really good on fish. Is my favorite. It tastes so good when you cook it on fish. And then I got them some onion salt. I thought they might like. If they don't want it, though, I'll just ask them, and I'll keep it if they don't want it. And then I got them some spaghetti because they love spaghetti, so why not? And then over here, obviously, we had to get the cookie butter sandwich cookies and then i got these two chocolate hazelnut cookies so this i'm assuming probably tastes like nutella in the center and then these things i just got to try sorry my bag completely crushed them but this is sponge candy it's almost like a meringue like a really hard meringue um coated in chocolate so it's really good i got this buffalo jerky it's sweet and spicy it says so i'm excited about that I got these PB and J bars, which it says that it's creamy peanut butter and tart raspberry jelly in milk chocolate. These I got as like souvenirs for coworkers. John got a bunch of these, I think. I don't know who he got them for, if it's for us or for his coworkers, but uncured bacon jerky and it's sriracha, sweet sriracha flavored. So that's pretty cool. He got like four bags of that. These little guys right here are our favorite fruit jellies. We finished one of these on the plane ride over. I don't even know how to explain them. They're kind of like square versions of those orange slice ones, but they're a little softer. They're really, really good. John got these for the plane. Peanut butter filled pretzels. I'm not a peanut butter fan, so he can have those for himself. Cowboy bark. So this, I saw someone post on YouTube one time and I had to get it. This one is dark chocolate with toffee pretzels, Jojo cookies, which are like, I think Oreo cookies, uh, peanuts, almonds, and a sprinkling of salt. We got like four bags of these. We already finished one, which is ridiculous, but these are caramel bites. Dude, these are so good. They're like waffles on the outside and then soft caramel on the inside. Oh my God. We talked about those licorice first already. I got three of those bags for us. This is just like a jerky... I mean, the, this probably, the jerky that we bought was probably the most expensive part of Trader Joe's, so I didn't go too crazy, but I saw this on YouTube as well. It's like a little jerky bar, so I figured for a snack or something this week, I'd have that. Then um, my friend introduced me to these. It's like a bag of al almond, um, almonds, olives. I love olives, so I really like this idea for a little snack. So I got a couple for myself, and I got a bunch for her because she asked for them dark chocolate orange sticks i used to love like the dark chocolate orange slices that you'd get around the holiday season in new england so i thought i would like these cocoa batons my co-worker from a few years ago at my old job introduced me to this and bro i can never go back but they do sell these they're kind of like those pirouette ones that you can buy you know at like i think they sell them at like tj maxx and like costco and stuff but i just had to get it straight from the source I got 
why not? You know, we already had four, but I got one for myself just in case. These I'm excited for. Um, they're organic roasted teriyaki seaweed snacks. So you just take this package right here. A lot of people here will eat this with rice, but for me, I'll probably just eat it like it's a chip. Then I got these, which I ate on the plane. Sea salt butterscotch caramels. You can tell we ate really well on the plane. <laughs> and they're chocolate covered. These are really good, like ridiculously good. That's why they're mostly gone. For one of my coworkers, I got the salted caramel flavored hot cocoa. And then, like I mentioned, I got 10 bags of these for my other coworker that asked for them. And then some cookie butter cookies. Well, speculoos cookies for her. We also did get a regular cookie butter and then a cocoa cookie butter. So that is just packed away in one of the check bags. I don't have that. But anyways, this was our Trader Joe's haul. So for those of you that live by Trader Joe's and can just go whenever they want, just know that we are jealous of you. Next up for us, we've been filming a lot around Oahu, so you should be seeing um, the next videos if you are here because of you want to see stuff in Hawaii and everything like that, you're going to see a lot coming up. We got some really cute videos that we got throughout the island to show off some of the things that maybe people don't know about and stuff like that. So keep tuned. Make sure you subscribe if you do want to check those out. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video because next time we go to Disney, we want to know if we should take you along or not. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, guys, live aloha.